Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the HPE Proliant DL380 Gen 10 server. In this video, we're gonna specifically focus on network cards. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the HPE Proliant DL380 Gen 10 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. Uh, this video is specifically dedicated to network cards. So what we are going to do as a whole in this video is we're gonna go over the different interfaces, the different speeds. We're gonna do a close up and show you the flex LOMs or the FLOMs versus the PCIe cards. I'm a big fan of the FLOMs uh, just because there's a dedicated spot uh, specifically for that. And you can mix and match your FLOM with PCIe network cards to add additional networking. So these are all things that you're able to do. So, uh, and then at the end, what we'll do is actually install both of them for you and show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to install them. So what are the different compatible interfaces? Well, we have RJ45, which is another way of saying ethernet. We have SFP, SFP+, SFP28, QSFP, and QSFP56. So those are gonna be your different interfaces. Well, what about our speeds? You have a one gigabit, eight gigabit, 10 gigabit, 16 gigabit, 25, 32, 40, or all the way up to 100. So those will be your different speeds. So uh, now what we'll do is we'll show you a quick close up of the uh, the FLOMs versus the PCIEs. And again, I'm a big fan of the FLOMs. And then we're gonna show you how to install both of them. All right, so I laid out what we're gonna need for this install. So we have our FLOM over here and we have our PCIe uh, network card over here. We're gonna need an T10 and a T15 bit. So the T10 is gonna be to remove the current FLOM bracket and the T15 will actually be to install the uh, current FLOM or to install the new FLOM. So all right, so let's go ahead and toss these to the side. Put our bits to the side, pop your latch, make sure it's set to unlock, of course, and remove the lid. So what we will be doing will be all focused on this area as a whole. So right here, you'll take this blue tab, you're gonna pull it up, and then you're gonna spin this around to unscrew it. And now you can actually remove your riser and pull this straight up. So we'll go ahead and just go ahead and pull our riser up. Okay, and now that the riser is out, we can uh, not only install a card into uh, the, the PCIe slot, or into one of these PCIe slots, but we can also install our flexible LOM. So we'll do the flexible LOM first. So what we'll need to do is take our T10 bit to remove the current bracket that is here right now uh, for the airflow. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this. Now this screw we will need to keep because we will use it uh, for the actual FLOM, but this bracket you can put to the side and we will not be using this, uh, but you can save it if you need it for in the future. So we're gonna take our interface here and we are going to put this in right here. And basically we're lining up all of our leads right now. So let's go ahead and uh, get our leads in here. And we're gonna go ahead and push this into place. So now we've installed or inserted our FLOM. So what we'll need to do now is we're gonna take our uh, T10 again. All right, so we're gonna get our screwed back in over here. And then we are going to need our uh, T15 here to screw the FLOM down to the actual board. All right, so that's how you would install your actual uh, your FLOM. So now what we're gonna do here is actually install our PCIe card. So for the PCIe card, we're gonna need to uh, use our riser. So I'm gonna need to open this up to remove the current brackets. So let's go ahead and open this up. And then we are going to uh, pop out our middle bracket right here. And then we are going to go ahead and install our card. So when we do this, you need to kind of line up a few things here, the tip, and then the two leads are the most important thing. And sometimes if your card's super long, you need to make sure you line up uh, with the green as well. So let's go ahead and get this, get everything lined up into place.
Okay, so we've got our two leads in and we've got the tip down here in. So now we're just going to simply push this down and it is fully inserted and we are good to go. So now what we're gonna do is actually just close this back up to lock it into place and then we're just going to reinstall our riser so that is how we do it it's pretty simple overall so with with uh, by doing this we have now installed uh, an FLOM and our PCIe network card so we'll get this nice and flush and we're going to screw this back down and close it up and everything is nice and flush. Actually right there, I need to still go down. So everything is good to go. So we'll just put our lid back on and we're done. If you made it this far, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built HPE, Dell, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we do new, we do use, we stock a ton of Gen 10s and we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home labs business. Please email us at sales at cloudengine.com. That's sales at cloudengine.com.